being an entrepreneur to me, in simple terms, is taking risks. Um, but to elaborate a little bit more, it's about your inner confidence. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, they may find themselves as failing because they didn't do this, that, or you know, in a certain time frame. But you have to know that if, if it's in you to, to accomplish something, it's gonna be done. It's kind of funny because um, basketball was actually my first passion. That's all I did, all I lived for. I knew for a fact I was going to the WNBA, like high school. I just knew it. Um, so I, I went to Sac State, played for a year. It was a walk-on kind of experience. And it was kind of a humbling experience because, you know, I, I'm a, I was definitely a modest player, but I was like, no, I know I'm going type thing, you know? So then when it didn't happen for me, it was, it was cool because I was like, I was so excited about, okay, I'm gonna just put all my focus in school, like this is great, you know, because talking to these girls are just like, you know, we don't really get to do much, it's just all basketball, which is great, but when we graduate, it's like, where do we go from here? Because not many people from uh, the Sacramento basketball team were going on to uh, pro ball or anything like that. Um, so it was just like, I was excited because I was like, I know I want to still do something um, perhaps with sports or I know I want to do something that I'm able to advocate just my energy and what I'm excited about so we're about to go downtown real downtown in the heart of it probably around KL Street and get real gritty with some uh, live lively crowds and we're gonna do our ass downtown segment meet up with Vince my co-host right hand man and uh, do some damage this one into the whole media part of journalism um, I got even more excited because I was like this is what I want to do I want to be able to um, put my energy put my personality and uh, be able to put it towards something that I really really care about you know and, and that is you know catering to the people catering to this community um, I love Sacramento and it was such a welcoming place for me. Sac State was such a welcoming place for me. Um, coming from Cameron Park where there's not many of us around and then going to a campus of 30,000 people and it's so diverse. I, I, just, I just felt like um, it, it, was a, it was a whole new uh, life for me that I was able to start, you know? Definitely. So I, I got excited. When I was in school, I've always loved the aspect of media. Always really respected people that did stuff in front of the camera and got it done. I was always into sports. I always watch ESPN and look at the reporters and, you know, kind of figure out what it was that made them do what they wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, got it. I like that. Usually, like, this is probably the most uh, chaotic show in a sense because this is our first time doing two people at once in an hour. Vince, which is my co-host now for the Sacramento Sunset, he had a morning show every um, every Thursday. It was like 8 a.m. So we would do our 5 um, to 7 a.m. workouts, and then by 8, you know, I'm in the parking lot calling him in, being like, you know, here's my update for what's going on. Um, I did a sports report on this, um, for his show in the morning. So that's how it got started, and I was like, this is cool. Like, you know, it was, I was kind of like part of the show, but not. But I, each time I was like, I really want to do this. Like, I really want to do this. So I ended up kind of fully committed, or being fully committed after the basketball year was up. My sophomore year, I would go in as a visitor to um, the student-run radio station called KSSU. I would go in as, as his visitor and just kind of, you know, be with them, chop it, chop it up with them, and just, you know, we would have a great time. It has been a crazy ride, but it's been a blessing. Like, it's been an awesome experience. Um, after I graduated, um, and then Vince followed, um, we were like, man, like, what are we gonna do? You know, like, that kind of thing. Like, we did the radio show for five years. I still went back. I had even, I had graduated first, and I still went back every Thursday to be with him on the show, you know? So I, I, was, I was doing it for five years, and I was just like, man, what are my Thursdays gonna be like, you know, without it? You try and keep things um, kind of spontaneous and mm -hmm. fresh. So like, when we show up here, 
we usually sit like this and I'm writing notes. And, and I'm like on my phone. phone. Apparently what ended up happening was our producers, Dante and Dominic Morris, they were they really were advocates of our show. They like they really were advocates of our show and I, I give a lot of praise to them for kind of believing in us because they ended up talking to Vince and from there, you know, they're like, we still gotta get you guys going. Like you guys are great. Like, you know, there you can't just stop. There's so much more that you guys can do and from there, there's a spinoff of doing our podcast, and you know, from there, there's a spinoff of you know doing our web uh, broadcast shows, and and here we are, you know, sitting down where we have um, such a great rapport. We're we're in a television studio for Access Sacramento. Um, we're we're on the streets. We're downtown. We got our own segments going on. People are starting to recognize who we are when we're just walking about, and it's so humbling because all I'm doing is what I love. You know what I'm saying? You can't let um, other other facets of you know negativity kind of put you in a position where you believe it's not going to happen because it starts it starts with you. You really have to put trust in yourself. Allow yourself to grow. You know, first and foremost, be okay with making mistakes. Be okay with little lulls that that will occur. You know, be okay with. Um, with just kind of figuring out what it is that's your niche, you know, what it is is your talent, and then go from there. You have to take it to that next level because there's even more people that won't believe that you can do it, you know what I mean? So true entrepreneurship for me starts with from within, and then it starts from also finding those people that are like you, those people that, you know, won't bring you down, um, you know, our collabo right now you know what i mean it's just being able to find people that are on the movement of bettering themselves bettering others bettering the community and and however their passion or their talent is um entrepreneurship is, is definitely a collaborative effort so i wanted to first give my shout out to uh to god he's been awesome for me um he's done everything for me so i really appreciate that um, shout out to my mom who was actually an avid watcher of uh, Sacramento Sunset, so I gotta give her love. But also shout out to the Sunset, um, shout out to um, our producers who do so much groundwork, so much backup uh, work that you don't see, you know what I'm saying? So they, they really do uh, advocate for us and shout out to my co-hosts obviously uh, for, for being always with me on my left hand side. But I also want to make sure that I give love and um, shout out to our Generation Y.